Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday, 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 Monday. It's another week starting up. Um, this week, we're going to continue um, on the, the trazodone. Anybody that's following knows I'm doing a, a trazodone tapering. Um, it means we're just cutting the dose. I'm trying to eventually uh, get back down to either nothing or, you know, just at least seeing that I'm able to. And, you know, I've came off psych drugs before. I came off antidepressants, and I always do it my way. I always, like, cold turkey it and put myself through discomfort and all that. And that's not necessary, and it's not fair to those around. Um, so, you know, we're doing the 50%, and I think I think it's going quite well. Um, it only took a week, and it was, it was rough at the beginning of the week. But by the end of the week, you know, I'm getting seven hours sleep again. I'm still taking the, like, 50 milligrams of trazodone. I just got to be careful because I'm diagnosed with major depressive disorder along with some personality disorder issues and it makes it really complicated because like for example with with the personality disorder um, there's that's not a chemical imbalance that's the the medications that they give you is only there to treat symptoms um, so I feel myself I would rather adapt and learn to function with my mind um, and find tools that are able to help that can uh, give me give me a chance to at least tackle it on my own. You know, I'm a spinal cord injury. I'm paralyzed from the chest down due to drinking and driving. I've overcame a lot. And, you know, depression has been in my family since, you know, I, I was a kid. I can remember my grandmother, you know, dealing with some things. Um, you know, and I, I ended up in, in, a, in a, a place for troubled kids when I was like 14 and you know all I had was I feel behavioral issues at the time I, I may have had some beginnings of some you know personality disorders or whatever as it was you know being instilled personality disorders are are learned behaviors they're they're programmed into us um so so I choose to I choose to at least take a solid stab at doing this myself because I've gained a lot more tools um, over over time. Um, you know they they were giving me Thorazine when I when I was in that place and you know that that's not that's not right. Um, you know we go to the doctor and we let them give a, give us a pill because we tell them what we're suffering with and and we trust that prescription we trust that medicine without doing our own research and. We need to do diligent research on anything that we're going to put into our body. And we need to learn what the, the side effects short term and long term can be. And then we need to weigh them and make sure that, you know, the payoff is, is worth it. it. Is it worth it or do you owe yourself at least to take a stab on it at it the best that you can? And, and in no way am I, you know, saying that, you know, some, you don't need, some people don't need, you know, some medicines because, you know, that's just the fact, especially if you're like this far in life. Me, myself, for example, I could use, you know, my drug addiction and, and my past traumas and all, all that and validate reasonings of why I need an antidepressant. And I myself just feel like um, I want to work with meditation, shadow work, therapy. Um, and going all in on trying to figure out what the problem is um, instead of just trying to put a band-aid on it With that said this is going in week two like I said it's a beautiful day out here it's very important to start your day right um, our brain our brain in the mornings and before bed is the most accessible to the subconscious we have the most ability to tap in and directly affect our programming uh, so in the mornings, it's important to not start with yesterday, not starting with what was done to you, um, what your condition is, um, because suffering is generally a thought-produced experience, and we have hardships, and we have pains, and we have things that happen, and that's fair, but usually it's our thoughts about the event that is causing the most suffering from, you know, within uh, so anyway, I just want everybody to have a lovely day. I just figured I'd come out here, uh, touch base. I uh, then did my morning meditation. Um, you know, m meditation, that's another great tool um, of meditation. You can't be aware of, you can't be the watcher without awareness that we're not our thoughts. We're, we're not the thoughts that run through our head. And the thoughts that run through our head aren't fact always. They're, they're, they're 
prejudice, their their bias, their you know self-critical. Their anyway. Everybody have a great day. I love y'all. Um, peace out. Trips out. Um, stay tuned. Thank you all for following me. That are following me. Likes, comments. That all means a lot to me, and it keeps me going. It keeps me motivated, and it makes helps me recognize that you know I, I have more to offer than my past. I have more to offer than my wheelchair. I have more to offer than my past addictions. I, I have more to offer than the things that I've done in my past because I choose today to be a more authentic self and in touch with the divine nature that's within us all and lead with love. Love, love is key. Love is key. Awareness, self-awareness, love. Peace out.